Angelina Jolie recently opened up about her perspective on close friendships and how her life experiences have shaped her relationships. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter published on August 30th, the 49-year-old actress reflected on the limited number of close bonds she's formed over the years. When asked about her close friends, Jolie admitted that she doesn't have many, attributing this to various factors in her life. I don't really have those kinds of relationships, she said. Maybe it's losing your parent young, maybe it's working, or maybe it's being someone who's been betrayed a lot. Despite this, Jolie acknowledged that she does have a few trusted friends she can rely on, including Cambodian-American human rights activist Lung Ng. I don't have a lot of those warm, close relationships to lean on, but I have a few, and a few is enough. Lung is one of my closest friends. My mother was very close to me, and I lost her, she said, referring to her mother, Markellen Bertrand, who passed away in 2007 from ovarian and breast cancer. I've had a few friends over the years who weren't there for my family in their hour of need. Jomi added that she's comfortable with keeping her inner circle small, similar to the late opera singer Maria Callas, whom Jolie portrays in Pablo Lorraine's new biopic Maria. I have a couple of people that I trust. What did Maria Callas die with? Two trusted people, she noted. During the interview, Jolie also discussed her work with refugees in camps and war zones, where she's witnessed both the best and worst of humanity. She mentioned that she now has a home in Cambodia, where she's developed meaningful friendships. My neighbors have been through war, and many of my closest friends have as well. It's a large part of what it is to be human, to understand why we do this to each other and how we get through it. I've never had to experience war or lose someone through armed conflict, she said. But I have people I care deeply about who have. I've seen people who have nothing give everything, and I've seen people who have everything do nothing. Last year, Jolie shared similar thoughts about her close friendships in an interview with Wall Street Journal magazine. She revealed that while living in Los Angeles, she doesn't really have a social life, and that many of her closest friends are refugees. Maybe four out of six of the women I am close to are from war and conflict, she said, adding that she feels more at ease with people who have faced hardship because they are often more honest and connected. Jolie also spoke candidly about her struggle with depression and suicidal thoughts during the height of her fame and how visiting refugee camps in Cambodia, Tanzania, Sierra Leone, and Pakistan helped her find purpose. She began her work with the United Nations Refugee Agency in 2001. There's a reason people who have been through hardship are much more honest and connected, and I feel more relaxed with them, she explained. Why do I like spending time with people who survived and are refugees? They've confronted so much in life that it brings forward not just strength, but humanity. In the interview, Jolie also touched on her family dynamics amid her ongoing divorce from Brad Pitt. While she grew up in Los Angeles and still lives there, she doesn't plan to stay once her children reach adulthood. I have to be here because of the divorce. But as soon as they're 18, I'll be able to leave, she said, referring to her and Pitt's 16-year-old twins, Vivian and Knox. When you have a big family, you want them to have privacy, peace, and safety. I have a house now to raise my children, but sometimes this place can be, that humanity that I found across the world is not what I grew up with here. After Los Angeles, I'll spend a lot of time in Cambodia and visiting my family members wherever they may be in the world.